Okay, if we if I escape during this run, that'll be a new record for me. So far, my record is five. I did it on attempt number five. So here we have the Temple of Sticks, realm number four. Oh no, not this. The multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. Well, so it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well then. This is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say. Except for on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the SATA problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Persephone. My mother. You know what this means to me. <laughs> After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious Hound of Hell barks once, affirmatively, toward the Prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and see what I can find. So here in the Temple of Sticks, we're technically on the surface, and there are six, no five, excuse me, chambers to go through. And the idea is we're looking for a satyr sack to help appease Cerberus so that he'll let me pass. Also on the other side here we have a super store from Karen. We get kind of much more expensive boons which have guaranteed upgraded rarities. The ones have his gold circles. These palms level things up by two levels instead of one. And every time you get to the temple sticks his shop will have one rare item it's always either a diamond for a thousand gold or a titan blood for 1200 gold which is a big incentive when we get to a certain point when we've got enough resources and we're escaping pretty consistently we'll stop buying resources and we'll save up our money so that we can always buy this one item at the end But for now, you also have two mini-boss tunnels and three regular ones. The way these, these work is it'll be very, very small rooms, but it'll be like four or five of them in a row. And it'll culminate in one big room that has several armored enemies if you go into one of the standard tunnels. and Or a mini-boss room if you go into one of the mini-boss tunnels. And in my opinion, the mini-boss tunnels are actually easier than the rooms full of armored enemies. So I suggest doing these two first. One of them is going to end in a fountain and a satyr sack. That's the one we're looking for. And it will never be the first one. Should check this way. So between the two mini-bosses, the centaur heart or the gold, this is better. And I can talk about some of these enemies. Oh, never mind. I got killed by a trap. Be careful of those. There's a lot more urns in the sticks as well. The little guys were shooting bombs at us. These guys are satyrs, and they will shoot poison darts at you. The poison ticks up, and the ticks get more and more damaging. It starts with, like, one every, like, tenth of a second, and then up to two... And it builds up real quick, which is why every room has one of these, which cures you of any poison. Not poisoned at the moment, thanks. And it will reset after a time. Yeah, there you go. A lot of poison here. These little snake stones will shoot lasers in all... It shoots like five lasers that kind of zoom in on you. Instead of just the one laser that the doom stones made. That was, what, three rooms? Yeah, I see here's a better look. But I can get staggered too. Ow. Did I just run into that trap? I think I did. Yeah, see, those lasers do a lot of damage too. Moving on. That's 
So here's the mini boss room. It's a giant guy, which is great because our attacks deflect his bombs. We get some ants, including a giant rat, which likes to oh, spray poison all over the floor and will lunge at you. But be careful of the poison that I'm about to step in. Okay, there we go. There, I got poisoned, but the poison also goes away when you kill the last enemy, so That's I was right. able to do that fast enough. Get my centaur heart, and then these portals return oh, you I'm back to the entrance. A moment's rest. So Set now let's do the next one. Oh. Make sure you're checking these corners for urns. Oh yeah, I got him in a corner. That was great. Again, you play long enough, you'll get good at the timing of those little poison darts. Urn over here. Some of those urns have coin in them, don't they? <laughs> this place also has pillars that you can knock down. Dang, another mini boss room. We got a super satyr, which shoots several poison darts simultaneously. And we get the tiny rats, which walk around. They don't really come at you per se. They kind of just meander and attack. I have to cure myself a bunch here. You can deflect the poison darts and it, see it poisons him. The rats all have like one health though, but they're very tiny and hard to see. They'll clock your hooves in hell. Ooh. Back I go. Alright, so got some obel. We have enough to afford one of these. What I like to do is just wait until we get right before the final boss. And then I spend all my money. So we got these three left. Out of these three, what's best? We've already got Athena boons, so I like to diversify. And also, if I'm lucky, I'll get a strong drink from this guy. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Oh, we may go all the way. I'm telling you, Cursed Slash is underrated. And it's underrated because it doesn't actually add any damage. So... It still takes it takes a while to take these guys down, but since you can almost never die, it's easy to take that time. Ah, got poisoned right at the end there. And yeah, so this is also another reason to keep saving your money, because you can still find wells of Karen. So that was, what, two rooms? Notice I can also deflect those Beyblades. The buzz saws. Hey. Storage. Break all these urns, because there's often some money in them. Disgusting. There's always a slew of them on the wall here. Get the Seder Sack. And whatever item it is that's in the room. In the name of Hades. Oh no. Thing. So this can increase our damage with our cast, but we're not casting much. This replenishes your health at the end of every encounter, but there's only one encounter left, so by process of elimination, we'll take this one. Use the fountain to get out of there. Down the chute. 
and go give the sack to Cerberus. And before you do that, stop off here and spend all your gold. And if you can plan it out, so maximizing would be this, but I could do the palm and the centaur heart, which might be better. We'll just go with this one. You know, one thing I'll say for Charon there, he doesn't talk too much. And since neither do you, I'm letting you have this. Oh, dang. I was like, if we're lucky, we'll get pressure points or support fire, and we got both. So this one increases our critical chance across the board. This one is really nice. Sends an arrow that deals 14 damage no matter what you do. It's very good. I like it a lot, actually. This is not bad at all either, though. 4% is not very much, so we'll go with support fire. I think that's better than pressure points. And then you talk to Cerberus. All right, boy, I got your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. Gross. I owe you one, boy. And I love the little title cards that pop up every time you do this. So then, I don't think... Is there any... No. Okay. I was looking for any narration points. You know, the little glowy dots that cause our narrator to speak up. Don't see any. I did it. So let's get out. It's the door to the surface world. And the final boss. Oh, of course. Yep, of course. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know, you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say, though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered a bunch of incompetent wretches to try to kill me, but... Sure. I'll grant that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then. We're gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. So I'll try my best to explain his moves as we go through here, but... No, you're going home, not me. He's got quite a few. He's got a big spear. He'll shoot these skulls at you and do a 360 move just like Theseus does. The skulls, after a certain time, will pop and send out a shockwave that you have to dodge through, so it's nice to kill them if you can. He has just a normal thrust. Well, here, I'll let the skull pop so you can see what it does. It does that, and then you can dodge through it like that. He will sometimes disappear, and you can follow his footsteps, and he'll reappear with an attack. And when you see the circle, just try to get out of the way. Try to... Ugh. Try to dodge towards him so that because he always lunges forward when he does it, so you'll end up behind him. And you don't want to get hit by the skull when he shoots it because it'll stay in you and make it so that you get extra damage dealt to you until it comes out, and it will come out in a certain time. So try not to get hit by the oh gosh, try to get hit by the skulls. <laughs> And then after so many hits, he'll start summoning armored adds. And they're like super armored adds that do extra attacks as well. And those are always random. Oh, I did not see him appear. I was too busy attacking.
Okay, so here's the first wave of extras. And we get a strong bow. Two strong bows? Come on. This is hard mode. See, usually the strong bows, the armored ones, shoot a volley of three arrows. But the ones in this fight do like five or six. Okay, got rid of them. Some people go so far as ignoring the ads and just focus on Hades. Which you can do if you have high damage output, if you have a high DPS. This is a very slow build, so I'm not gonna do that. Ow. Every time with that. You can deflect it though. The thrust. Alright, so next set of ads. Doing very good at deflecting. So sometimes I'll see if he'll do it. Oh, I got. No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Oh, come on. He's got so many skulls now. Just keeps firing him. Yeah, okay, that. He'll do a move where he'll shoot a skull to the left, or to the right, and then thrust forward. There, there, there. See? Just like that. Stop firing the skulls. I'm about to die. There it goes. Alright, and now we move on to the real phase two. Oh, spoiler. To have been brought this low by my own ungrateful child. I would expect such treatment from my brothers, but from you. So now he's going to start with a shockwave. He's got the same type of moves, but now he does two slashes before he does his uh, whirlwind attack. He can summon urns like this, which when they pop, creates little auras that freeze you in place and deal damage. You'll see it here in a second. And then lastly, oh, he'll shoot these beams that deal a lot of damage if you stand in them, but you can hide behind a pillar. Or in the first half of this phase, you can get behind them. And see, there's the, it's called Boiling Blood debuff. This is what happens when you get hit by that skull. Because the skull stays in you and you take extra damage for a while. And see, what you can do is get behind them, huh. And start attacking while he's doing his laser thing. He can't turn around very quickly. And you can get some hits in while he's summoning urns. So let's get behind him. Wait until the he's just about to fire those though before you get behind him because he can turn very quickly until he starts firing the beams. But once the beams start, that's when they get slow. He gets slow. So now, he's in phase two of phase two. Ah, perfect. I get the chance to show this off. So don't worry that I took 20 there. So, he has a move. His beams become 360. That's really about the only difference. I think he might also just be more aggressive in general. But the 360 beam move is the one to look out for. And you can do two things. You can hide behind the pillars if you feel safe. That's what you should do if you've never played this before. 
Or you can get right in front of him and there's actually a little safe area where you can just sit there and attack without worry and you won't take any damage. Ow. Oh. It is small though, so you have to be careful. It's high risk, high reward. Oh. Okay, shoot. I want to be careful because I'm on my last life now. I might get a little quiet here. He's almost dead, but don't get greedy. It's like a Dark Souls game. The minute you get greedy is the minute you die. Yay! I just broke my own record. Beating the game in four attempts. Somehow find her. Tell her something for me. Tell her. Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. Don't answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? I... Blood and darkness. There is no escape. Goodbye, Father. All right. Our first... It says first of many. First of many victories. Took 46 minutes, but that's okay. Uh, so... Uh, some things I need to talk about story-wise. Oh, here, I'll black that out. We get a Titan Blood for that as well. There's going to be a cutscene later. The idea is... I feel embarrassed, actually. The idea is you've done this enough times and have yet to escape to where a certain cutscene is going to happen. That explains that we're trying to leave to find our birth mother. This whole time we thought it was Nyx, but it was actually Persephone. And, uh, since I escaped so quickly, we haven't gotten to that cutscene yet, so, oops. Anyway, once you grab the Titan Blood, get on out of here. I made it. Beyond yeah. the frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left. And onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nix. So we have arrived in Greece, and unfortunately, this first time through, you have to slowly walk. Kind of take in all the scenery, you can't dash or anything. You can get some story though while we're here. The surface, wind swept, racked by freezing cold, nonetheless instills within the prince. A sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful. This game has very great music as well. What was that? Just like with all the other realms, if you walk up to this area, you get a little overlook. Beautiful little cutscene there. And then snap zoom back in. This really is one of my favorite games, all things considered. Just looks beautiful, sounds beautiful. Great story, great gameplay. It's by the people that made 
Oh, he can't. Now I can run. It's by the people that made Bastion. If you've never played that game, I suggest you do. A company called Supergiant. Who's there? Um, hello? Hello indeed. And so here... Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Speak up. Um, you must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. What? How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you! Out with you! No! Oh, so then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... you died. Those burning feet, they sputtered out when you were born. But now you're standing here before me. How? I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, gods. You never even knew I existed either. Alive? Sagrius, he even kept your name. You live? How can this be? You live? You live? Oh, the cruel fates! My son! Mother. In short, I beat him, finally, though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Uh, oh, it's... Guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. No. No, that isn't it. It's that... You cannot stay here. You can't stay here. Really, you're... <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. Same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye. For now. My heart soars knowing you live. But then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No. I can... Come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he... Or for that matter, Nyx... Never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. The sticks shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please, come back. I shall be waiting here, however long it takes. <laughs> however long it takes. <gasps> Can't hold on. Okay, and so we have made our first escape attempt, so don't be discouraged if you haven't gotten this far this quickly. Just keep trying at it, and you will escape eventually. If you want, you can skip forward, I believe, let me, yeah, I have seven keys. I believe it will be two episodes from now, and I will 
do a guide on a build that is extremely easy to create. It's kind of what we've been working towards. And it's very survivable. It's very easy to run. Very consistently uh, able. What's the word I'm looking for? Accessible. Very easily accessible. And it should be able to help you get through your first escape attempt if you haven't already. In fact, usually I don't get to escape until I've unlocked this particular weapon. So you can just skip forward two episodes if you would like to take a look at that. And since this episode has been going long, I will do the roundabout uh, House of Hades cleanup, I guess you want to call it. At the beginning of the next episode, I'll walk around, talk to everybody, give out nectar, etc. And then we'll start attempt, escape attempt number five. Right? Yeah, this was four. Until then, stay safe.